ग्रामर right and now these all exercises a b and c are depending on the quotation marks right okay now here let's start uh, about this exercise a okay here here if you see quotation marks if you see these are the commas which are which is also called the inverted commas right are used to show exactly what somebody has said dear students quotation marks are called uh, the inverted commas as well and they are used when somebody has exactly said something when somebody has said exactly something that speech is being specified with these commas that speech is being specified through these commas so this is called direct speech this is called direct speech now full stops commas and quotation marks usually appear within quotation marks in the quotation marks where the quotation marks are being put there you will find the full stops the commas and the question marks this all depends on that statement that either the full stop to be used the commas to be used or the question mark to be used now here the example is given example don't forget to turn off the light said dad now here is the exact statement which is being told by who dad said by dad now here it this statement has been being uh, uh, in between the inverted commas in between the quotation marks right if you see it clearly look at this if you see the signs here and here is a comma again and said that and then here is a full stop because the sentence ends here is that clear so this quotation mark statement can be in between the sentence in the start of the sentence or at the end of the sentence right acha then we have call me when you are finished whispered ann who whispered who said the statement said by this ann she said call me when you are finished the exactly statement told by ann is being uh, done with this quotation marks right the man asked is this seat taken the man asked is this seat taken now here if you see this statement is in between the quotation marks the comma is used quotation marks are used and a question marks is used because it is asked something the question is being asked here so the statements which are in between the quotation marks are called the direct speech look this is called direct speech this statement is called a direct speech this statement is called a direct speech when the statement which is uh, highlighted with the quotation mark that is called the direct speech this is also a direct speech because they have been enclosed with the commas clear clear to you okay now we are going to move towards the book exercise right and here it is said rewrite each sentence placing the direct speech within quotation marks clear rewrite each sentence placing the direct speech within quotation marks now here number 1 is i am bored complained the child complained the child what did the child complain he, he complained that i am bored now here you have to identify which one is the direct speech which one is the direct speech you have to put the quotation marks over there clear so now let's do it uh, in the rough copies and this number 1 is already done for you here if you see i am bored now the commas are being used here so this is the direct speech and complained the child 
complained the child what the, he complained he complained i am bored so this is the direct speech where you have to put the quotation marks so the point is that you have to put the quotation marks where they are necessary okay okay dear students here i have done this exercise for you right it's unit number 4 exercise a page 21 and here the question rewrite each sentence is placing the direct speech within quotation marks now here the statement is given i am bored complained the child now here the correct answer is done i am bored complained the child now here which one is the direct speech this one is i am bored the statement said by this child has to be uh, written with the quotation marks right and more one more point that you should keep in your mind that quotation marks should be in the inverted form here when they are starting and here they should be in a straight form right they both should not be in this form and in this form one is this way and the other one is this way clear the number 2 we have charge rod the army sergeants sergeant right now here the statement said by this an army person that is charge which has been enclosed in inverted commas or in the quotation marks the quotation marks are being put here right the number 3 we have two for the price of one two for the price of one shouted the lady on the market stall shouted the lady on the market stall what did she shout she shouted two for the price of one now this statement will be uh used as quotation marks now here this is the direct speech so in the direct speech what do we have to do we have to put the quotation marks right then we have my manager said i am really pleased with your work now this is my manager said i am really pleased with your work the direct speech so here this one statement is the direct speech which is being enclosed in the quotation marks it is being closed in the quotation marks right then we have don't forget to walk the dog every day reminded to what now here this is the direct speech the first uh, uh, half uh, the first area of the sentence don't forget to walk the dog every day reminded the what who reminded the what reminded what what did he reminded don't forget to walk the dog every day now, this statement is a direct speech so to be written with the quotation mark right so these are the five statements and then we have the, uh, number 6 and number 7 number 8 here we have number 6 you look fantastic you look fantastic exclaimed the lady now you look fantastic is a direct speech so to be written with the quotation marks right and you should also keep one thing more that before this comma you have to close the statement with the quotation mark you don't have to use these quotation marks after this comma before uh, this comma you have to put the quotation mark here definitely coming the start but when you end it so it should be before this separate uh, before the separator or before the single comma right okay then number 7 we have you need to practice more said piano teacher said the piano teacher now what did she say you need to do practice you need to practice more but this is a direct speech it has to be written in the quotation marks clear then we have this is the last call for flight 365 announced the air steward now here the statement which is being said by this person is this is the last call for the flight 365 so it is to be written with the quotation marks clear so it was all about the quotation marks and here we have done uh, eight statements if you see here clearly 1 2 3 4 5 and here we had 6 7 and 8 so this task you are going to do in your rough copy with the beautiful handwriting and with the best presentation clear so inshallah we will continue with the rest of the exercises in the next video till then take care of yourself stay happy and stay blessed